This conference will now be recorded. See, if you look at the user interface, in the user interface, so whenever we are going to work with user interface design and while we are creating sections by default we will be getting dynamic layout in the section what is meant by dynamic layout dynamic layout means see whenever this user interface is getting loaded okay based on the device size okay suppose if i am accessing pega application from a laptop this is how the screen will get displayed suppose if i am going to access it from a tab look at here if i am accessing by using a tab let's say this is the tab size see even if i am accessing with a tab size device okay screen okay. size is tab size where you have the options like application create application option search bar and below uh, clipboard live ui all this tracer everything is coming in a big screen you are also seeing labels but in a small screen we are seeing only layouts but nothing in the ui has been missed if you want to access left panel you can click on this and access the left panel also so like this without losing the user interface components you if you wanted to load the ui we can make use of dynamic layout dynamic layouts are being introduced from pega 7 onwards before pega 7 dynamic layout was not there we used to have preform layout we used to have col column layout fixed structure layout i don't remember the exact name that there's something called fixed structure uh, and this dynamic layout has been implemented by using HTML5 using dev tags and along with dynamic layout in the portals dynamic container is going to help to load the UI screens dynamically without losing the information. Suppose if you're going to make it the size of phone, even the phone size also if you closely observe nothing is being missed out. Okay, even when you are accessing it in your phone, nothing is been missed out. Everything gets loaded. You can access everything without losing the data. So this is called responsiveness in the UI means user interface will be responding the same way to load all the UI components irrespective of the screen size of the device on which you are accessing the Pega application that they have achieved from Pega 7 onwards. Suppose if you're working on Pega 6 and before versions for this we have to manually write the code for the responsiveness. So there are so many layouts available in the UI dynamic layout and second one layout group. You can easily guess and understand what is meant by layout group. What is meant by layout group? What do you think of a layout group? In group multiple. A group of layout groups. It is going to have n number of different layouts being added inside. There you have a structure of tab accordion like that you can go ahead and specify and columns layout means you can display everything in columns and repeating dynamic layout. So repeating dynamic layout means oh they have changed the name no no repeating dynamic layout means see a dynamic lay a repeating layout let me tell you repeating layout will take always a page list as a source. You can see here source unspecified if i double click on this either report definition or anything it can be i can choose a property of page list or i can choose uh, the source can be data page of list type list means n number of pages will be there where each page is equal to one layout you choose a page list and you add one layout here and number of properties on the clipboard page list suppose i have added address section here and the page list is addresses Okay, in the addresses page list, I have five different people address. Then the section what you have added here will be repeated five times to display five people address. Okay, everyone clear? So that is what repeating dynamic layout. And the other one is dynamic layout group means this is also like a layout group. Okay, so the layout group may have a fixed structure, but this is going to have tabs kind of plus symbol. You click one more tab will get added something like that. Okay. And table layout. What is meant by table layout? Columns and 
rows. This will also take a pagerish parameter. You see here, if you are going to use table layout, it will take pagerish parameter or data page or report definition, any of these three. Okay, and you choose the respective pagerish property here. And here you will have you will be adding the controls of the properties and map it to properties. Suppose by the time the screen loads, if the page list has 10 pages, okay, then you will see 10 rows in the UI and columns will be headings of the properties. Everyone clear? So that is table layout. Can you guess and tell me what is meant by hierarchical table? What is meant by hierarchical table? Table, I told you, what is hierarchical table? Maybe table under that uh, inside other table, sub table. Table inside other table. Like this, how many levels? N number of levels. Tree structure. See, this is hierarchical table, tree structure. One inside another, another one inside. Suppose I, I am displaying in the UI. Just imagine in the UI, we are going to display um list of countries. Country code, country name. Each record is country code, country name, country code, like that I have displayed 100 countries. And for each country, at the beginning, you have a plus icon or maybe expand icon. If you're expanding it for one record, internally it will load number of states list. And once again, you expand one state, it will load list of cities. Okay, like that, if you wanted to have hierarchical display, then you can go ahead with hierarchical table. Look at here now. If you go to user interface, gallery, and UI elements. Okay, look at here now. See, in the UI elements gallery, if you scroll down, you wanted to learn about uh, different types of layout, how it looks like and all. You, you see here, hierarchical table. So click on hierarchical table. See here, this is a table, right? I'm expanding one. See, it is displaying internally another table. You expand this, it may display another table internally and expand that it may display like this. This is hierarchical table. So you wanted to know about any of the layouts, you can go here and any of the UI elements. Okay, you can go ahead here and navigational tree. So I want to understand what is meant by navigational tree, how it looks like. See here, this is a navigational tree. So I wanted to know about how navigational tree can be designed. So use, where is it? Okay, and no need to you go for live view. View design time configuration. Click on this and here it has been loaded. You can see here they are embedding once another sections and all. You can go ahead with other sections. It is something like reverse engineering and try to understand how to design it. So here they are calling one page context and they might be calling another section into it. Okay, so on this particular data page, list type, I believe, page type. Okay, page type data page they're calling and they're loading a section. And moreover, if you go to the top level once again, here they're again calling a data page here and page inside page like that, they're calling. It is not like list inside list. It is like page inside page. If you want design, you can use this particular layout everyone clear so this is what about you understanding the ui gallery so here you go where is it ui gallery go back and scroll down so you wanted to see see here accordion how to have accordion structure this is legacy this is accordion structure see you have how many sections here hold on section one section two section three section four so in one single section you have a number of sections where you have chosen the structure as accordion so view design time configuration and he, this is anyhow anyhow deprecated but just for your information see you have added accordion and here you go uh, you are calling another section here okay and there may be options here we can find just hold on somewhere it should be available okay advanced presentation no somewhere it should be available maybe at the top level or somewhere 
here you can see this is accordion this as this is deprecated maybe now i am not seeing it so it should be available previously okay it says that this has been deprecated okay so this section is deprecated layout here it's an here itself you can see so like this any user interface components if you want to try to understand you can go to the ui gallery okay in the ui gallery you will come to know about how to design it so that's the way Pega is providing the help everyone clear so we can go ahead and work on different types of layouts but any number of any layouts that we have here we have multiple layouts right if you look at all the layouts all the layouts here and there are combination of dynamic and table layout if you learn dynamic layout if you learn table layout remaining everything else is combination of these only okay hierarchical table is combination of table where it will take the page list page list page list multiple table will take page list and repeating dynamic layout will take a page list and add multiple pages okay means multiple sections are one section multiple times gets displayed and uh, layout group is multiple layouts of combination of layouts other layouts so like this every layout that we have in pega is going to be dynamic layout is inherited from dynamic layout or table layout everyone clear so we are going to work on table layout whenever we are dealing with table layout we can use a page list property as a source or repeat report definition or a data page okay so you just need to go ahead and write down the business requirement after you write down the business requirement related to ui design later we will enter into working with decision shape and decision tree as of now we are going to work on only table layout after table layout requirement is completed we will work on the other one what is the other one uh, decision tree and decision shape okay write down business requirement 